Hey guys, how's it going? It's Molly. I'm here today to finally share, share. <laughs> There's a mixture between show you and share with you my next shot my stash. So it's been two months, right? It's been a while. Uh, the intro, the beginning of this is going to be a little bit different, but we'll get into that. First, I want to introduce myself. Hello. If you're new here, my name is Molly. I'm a busy mother of two. My upload schedule is all over the place, but I hope that you would consider subscribing especially if you enjoy beauty content from just a regular old person who enjoys makeup thoroughly. So, okay, let's talk about the products that I chose from my last Shot My Stash. Typically, what I do is I'll let you guys know about how often I use them, what I thought of them, and, and the like. So, uh, but this time, because it's been like two months, essentially what happened is I filmed my shot, my stash, and then immediately had to pack up my makeup and head to my parents' house because we were remodeling our kitchen for three weeks. And I think during that time, I didn't, stupidly, I did not pack my shop, my stash items. I used them for like a week and then never again. So, um, yeah, I packed something completely different in my travel makeup bag, which maybe I could do a video on that. There's a thought. So, but I'm going to talk briefly about what I chose last time, what I remember of using it about how many times, and then we'll move on to the shopping portion. So this, in theory, this video should be a little bit shorter than my normal shot my stashes. In theory. We'll see. Okay. I'm just going to go by what's in front of me on the top of the snack. Nava blush. This is in the shade Ombra. This is beautiful. I absolutely love this. I... I want to use it more. It was kind of funny when I got back from my parents' house after remodeling our kitchen, I went down to our basement bathroom, which is where I keep my makeup. And I was like, what are all of these products doing on top of my dresser? They were there to remind me to use them, but I didn't. So anyways, uh, it's just been sitting there. I use this. I would, I'm going to assume I used it once or twice. Um, I know that I love it. I know that I want to use it more. I know that I love the packaging. Like it's just, oh, that smoky plastic. It's really, it's beautiful. Highlight, Wet n Wild Precious Petals. Yes, Precious Petals. Um, this is a gorgeous highlight. It really, truly is. And darn it, Wet n Wild, if you could just go back to being cruelty free, I would appreciate it because that Care Bears collection was too flippin' cute, but this is so, so pretty. Um, as I mentioned in my last on my stash, I did use this in like a, a project pan last year. It was the Project 100 Uses. Um, and I used it, I, I think I actually did reach 100 times with this. I never followed up with that project pan. I never followed up with videos, like progress videos, because I suck. But um, yeah, this is really pretty. I don't believe I used it at all though because I was really wanting to use my Rodeo Drive highlighter in my current project pan. And I, let me show you guys something. So my baby, he's a toddler, but my baby has been wanting to play with my makeup. And initially he was very gentle, very, very gentle. The gentle phase is over. He threw it. So I have to repress this bad boy. This is not related to our shop, my stash. So I, <laughs> but this is, you know, brains work in mysterious ways sometimes. Okay. Next up, we've got the Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Blush Palette. It is so pretty and I love it. It's an amazing formula. Very, very nice. I believe I used this twice. The packaging is super cute too. Like, oh, I want to come up with an eye look that's this color story. Maybe I can do a video on that. I don't know. Maybe that's boring. I like that though. Like I see different content creators like gathering inspiration from different images and coming up with looks based off of it. I'm a big fan. Anyways, this blush palette, I apparently am going to go off on tangents a lot. So that dream of a shorter <laughs> shot my sash is probably not reality. But anyway, this is very, very pretty and I would love to use it more. I wish I had remembered. I wish I would have packed it in my bag, but I didn't. Okay, more products that I did not use. The Super Shocks. Why do I bother? I cannot, I mean, if you guys watch my channel, you know, 
I pull these things in and then I don't use them. They just get lost and in the bottom of my makeup bag that in theory should not have anything other than what is in my shot mustache. But that's not true. Like there are other things in there. There's random eyeshadows, random glitters, random liners that I don't use, just random crap. So I think one thing that I need to do is just empty it out completely and just put in my shot mustache things. But anyways, I chose frog, which I love and snake bite also, which I love. There are no, there's no reason for me to not use these. Um, I just didn't. So I, I do really enjoy them though. Okay. Eyeshadow palettes. I know that I used these. I know that I did. In fact, maybe it was more than, it had to have been more than a week of using these products before we went to my parents' house. Because I know that I used both this and the next one quite extensively. So anyways, this, oh, yeah. blueberry muffin, I know it's blinding and obnoxious. How can I angle this so it's not quite so bad? that it's so pretty. I love that ref like iridescent reflection. Um, yeah, this is gorgeous. It really is. Um, initially the blues really threw me off, but what I found myself doing was laying down a super neutral base with the help of my Tartlet and Bloom palette. There's my table is just like full of makeup right now. So you just grab things that I want to reference. Um, but I would lay down a pretty neutral base. These, a lot of these shimmers are very neutral. They're so freaking pretty. I can't handle it. They're so pretty. I don't, I just got a cramp. So pretty. I would swatch on my pinky, but it's crooked and it's weird. It just doesn't work out well. Um, it's not a good swatch and finger. Uh, so I would do a neutral base and then I would use the blues, use the blues as a liner or an accent shade somehow, some way. And oh my gosh, <sighs> Makeup Revolution better not screw up BH. That's all I have to say. Like they reach, they purchase them. If they hurt this baby, I'm going to be sad. Okay. It's just makeup though. It's not the end of the world. Next up is the Glam Light Michaela palette. I definitely use this. I love it. I do really love Glam Light's formula. Um, now I know there were people who love colorful shadows and are very accustomed to Glam Light as a brand. From what I gathered, we're a little bummed out that the top two rows are so neutral. I think that's perfect because this is what I like. I like having neutrals with a pop of color. Like it gives me the option to play with color, but I'm not pigeonholed into having to use bright colors because that's not always what I want. And I have found that that's not always very like flattering for me personally. So, um, some shades that I really, Oh, did I dig my nail in there? I must've some shades that I really enjoyed are the shade manifest right there. Look at that. I know this finger is, is stained. So don't worry. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. That's so pretty. Um, I don't really remember any other shades that I used though, but even these, these neutrals, I'm just going to do some swatches because it's easier that way. Oh my, that is softer than a baby's butt. <laughs> oh, that gold shade right there is super, super soft. It was like flaking around in the pan, but this, these are so gorgeous and the mattes blend out really, really nicely. Um, I have no complaints at all. Really happy that I have this at first. I wasn't quite sure how I felt about it. Like I just, I never felt inspired to use it. So it really did take me like pulling it in for my shot, my stash to see how I feel about it. And I like it. Okay. Lippies. I pulled in an M Cosmetics lippy and promptly lost it because that's what I do. Um, but I also pulled in this NYX Teddy Berry lipstick. This is so pretty, but it was a little vampy and I wasn't quite in the mood for it. I think what I want to make sure that I do is pull this in in the fall and winter because this is like fall and winter vibes for sure. Even though it was February when I filmed my last one. So in theory, but I think February, I want more like light and airy and lovey dovey blue because of, 
uh, you know, Valentine's Day. And I love Valentine's Day. Not because of any like romantic stuff, but because it was my son's due date. And so it just has all of these really, really happy, happy, happy memories. Okay, so yeah, that was, <laughs> we're all over the place and I am so sorry. Uh, that is the initial portion of my shop, my stash. Let's go shop it though and pick some things out for next time because I'm ready to dip my hands in and figure out what I can play with next. Okay, you guys, I'm back to do the shopping portion. Don't mind the dirty look of my dresser. I did just wipe it off, but this is, it's like a matte finish paint and this is why you should not use a matte finish when you refinish old furniture because it's impossible to clean. Um, all right, I have my current uh, project pan items up here. And let's go ahead, I am gonna grab an eyeshadow palette. You guys, I I know I did a declutter months and months ago, I know, but um, it's definitely time to do another one. And then I need to literally stop buying so much makeup because this is this is crazy okay i don't i don't and i don't know what i want to do usually i have an idea at least but i've got no clue no clue <laughs> oh I'm going to grab this Unearthly Cosmetics. This is their lore palette. Um, here is what it looks like. Yeah. Those pinks at the top are really, really pretty. So we're going to grab that. Do I need a neutral palette? I mean, I've got my tartlet. I'm going to try just not. Oh, that makes me anxious. I don't know. And this used to have a home. Maybe I should just grab this. Colored Rain Safari. Okay. I'll grab this as well. Just because I don't want to find a place for it. Okay, well, let's start with highlighter because I have an idea of what I want to do. Um, as I showed you in my project pan, my 0 for 1 broke. I have not fixed it yet. I need to do that. In fact, I'm not entirely sure where it's at. But um, in the meantime, I'm going to grab the Fenty... Hustla Baby highlight. If I can open it one handed, I will show you what she looks like. There it is. Um, it's just, it's got a dent in it, and I like that. So, yes, please. Okay, the lighting is different. I turned the flash off. For some reason, the flash just automatically turned on on my phone camera, and that's just kind of annoying. Yeah. Um, hmm for some reason, and I know, I probably won't get to it, I want to grab this blue. Woo this is in the shade Luckfully. So it looks like that. I'm thinking more just using it as a liner. Okay, blush. Oh, I forgot bronzer. Let's do bronzer. Hmm. Actually, I'm not going to grab a bronzer. I'm going to focus on my project in bronzer. Okay, that was easy. Blush. I want... I know what I want. I want to use this guy. This is one of the ColourPop. Oh, the Let's Dance? No, that's the name of the shade. I don't know. It's one of their heart-shaped blushes. I'm really close with the camera. Can I get it? Ah, got it. Sort of. There she is. Okay. I'm going to make sure that I'm not... Okay, that is what it looks like. That's what I'm wanting to use. It's just a really beautiful peach, but it's a very, like, it's a nice, warm, hearty peach, I guess. I don't know if that makes sense. Okay. We're good on blush then, because the one in my product pan is fairly neutral. Okay, foundation. Hmm. I'm going to grab the Bite Change Maker Foundation. I'm probably going to be using mostly what I am using in my project pan, but I do want to give this one some more love. So I'm going to grab that. My hope is that I'll just I'll use it a couple of times. Okay, and then lipstick. Lipstick. Okay, this guy. 
It, did I grab it just because it's on top? Probably. But, oh well, it is what it is. And is that what I want? Or do I want this? <gasps> I want this. I want both of these. Okay, so we've got the ColourPop Fresh Kiss, the Lossy Lip Stain, and then the, this is the Elf, like, what is it? Seriously Satin in the shade Nectar. It's really nice and warm. It's really pretty. So we're good there. Okay, so this is what I've chosen. It doesn't look like much because it's really not, but paired with all of that, it's plenty. So, okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, give me a thumbs up, subscribe before you go, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.